we're going to continue with our baselines and we are going to start talking about the scale um, there's a pattern that we use a lot I'm going to do it in C so as you remember we kind of saw the notes and on the third fret of the third string that's a C so I'm using that C going to D on the same string now notice that I'm using my finger 2 and my finger 4 for those who don't know well from this hand we are using the thumb just as a support so we don't number it and the other fingers that we have we, we number them 1, 2, 3 and 4 so I'm thinking in my fingers 2 and 4 2 and 4 my fingers but they are playing the third string on the third fret and the fifth fret. For beginners, they will find easier just skipping, trying to play with one finger. I, I truly advise you <coughs> to use your four fingers. You'll find it harder first, but it's worth it. So practice. So we have D on the fifth fret. And, and we're coming from the C, C, D, now E, I'm on the second string, second fret, E, F, and G, so I'm thinking my fingers, one, two, and four, the fret that I'm playing is the second fret, the third fret, and the fifth fret, remember, the frets are these metal bars that we have on, on, the, on the bass, um, when we play an, uh, a string and we are not pressing down anything we'll think it as a zero or an open string it's a, a, an open string so zero, first fret, second fret, third fret, fourth fret okay? I hope you're getting that clear again if you have questions just let me know, write me, and I'll try to answer as soon as possible. So going back to the scale, I'm doing C, D, E, F, G. Moving to the, the first string, A, B, and C. So I'm using my finger 1, my finger 3, my finger 4. And I'm on the first string, on the second fret. 4th and 5th, okay? And that's my scale. It's one octave. Practice that <coughs> and know your notes. We are going to use uh, for the songs that we are trying to understand. 